Who's your commander? Good luck. Equipped. Move to combat. Resolves. Right. Now, before you attack Does me. anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Hello, everyone. My name is DJ, and you're watching the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. Today, we have a much-anticipated general. It's Gargos Vicious Watcher. Gargos Vicious Watcher is three green, green, green for an 8-7 legendary Hydra. Gargo says Vigilance, and Hydra spells you cast cost four less to cast. Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, Gargos Vicious Watcher fights up to one target creature you don't control. Uh, friends, friends, we we have a Hydra general, and it's, it's good too, the synergy is there. Four mana is a ton. That's a huge reduction of cost. We can start curving into bigger and bigger Hydras once Gargos is on the battlefield. And big is exactly what we want. This is going to be a big mana deck. We're going to want to ramp into Gargos and then make our Hydras as big as possible. Many Hydras revolve around plus one, plus one counter, so we might want to take a look at that because we also know that green has a ton of plus one, plus one counter synergies. And then we have to wonder, are we just playing big dudes and attacking? Like, do we have any other angles to finish out this game? So we're going to take a look at directions we can go to round out this deck. But what we really want to do is just cast Hydras. <laughs> So many Hydras. In fact, we might be casting every Hydra in the game. And Hydras are surprisingly good in Commander. Hydra Omnivore is 4 green green for an 8-8. Eight, eight. And whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. So this is a Hydra that can do like 24 damage regularly if you're getting damage through. So we know that this works really well in multiplayer. Similarly, Mana Gorger Hydra is a solid include in Commander. Two and a green for a 1-1. One, one. Okay. <laughs> Trample. Even better. <laughs> Whenever a player casts a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Mana Gorger Hydra. So remember those plus one plus one counter synergies we were talking about, but also the multiplayer aspect has Mana Gorger Hydra getting huge. And huge is what we want out of these Hydras. We have a few that go really big. Primordial Hydra, X green green for a zero zero, enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. When we have our commander out, that X is immediately four. <laughs> and then at the beginning of our upkeep, double the number of counters. So it just keeps doubling and doubling. And by the way, once you get up to 10 counters, it's got trample. So this is going to end the game very, very quickly if your opponents don't deal with your doubling Hydra. And then brand new out of M20 is Voracious Hydra. It'll again double those plus one plus one counters, or it can fight something. And again, built in trample. That's what we want. And we can see why this deck is going to be leaning towards a big mana deck. If we're going to be generating a lot of mana, we can go tall with some of those other Hydras, but we can also go wide with cards like Hooded Hydra. Make it big, and then when it dies, you put that many 1-1 green snake creatures onto the battlefield. And with a lot of mana, Hydra Broodmaster can get huge. You pump in a bunch into the monstrosity, and then you put X, X, X green Hydra creature tokens onto the battlefield. So if you just have a couple mana lying around, these don't do anything, but once you get the big mana going, uh, this can just be an army in a single card. Hydras also have some limited flexibility and utility. Uvenvald Hydra can go get you a land. This is a classic Hydra in many different strategies. Whip Tongue Hydra is pretty new and takes out flying creatures. So again, a selective board wipe could be really strong on a Hydra. And then Pelucranos can also be this sort of selective board wipe, just omnoming on all the little creatures and getting huge itself. Hydras also have the capability of drawing cards. Lifeblood Hydra is a favorite of mine. It's never quite been as aggressively costed as it needs to be, but as soon as X becomes four automatically, <laughs> geez, this becomes green, 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 for a 4-4, four, four, and when it dies, you draw cards equal to its power. That's four. That's very good. And so these Hydras become crazy when combined with this commander. And then Genesis Hydra gives us a different form of card advantage. We can go X cards deep into our library and get a permanent that costs less than X and put that straight onto the battlefield. 
You know, Genesis Hydra has me reminded that this effect doesn't synergize very well with Hydras, because if you cheat a Hydra into play, it's a 0-0 and it dies. So Genesis Hydra doesn't even match with its own tribe very well. And green, for big mana strategies, is usually pretty good. We have cards like Tooth and Nail and Silvala Stampede and other ways to cheat huge things into play, but it just doesn't work with the Hydra. And so I'm so happy that we finally have a Hydra Lord that really helps us, it, it really enables us to cheat Hydras into play. Just get them bigger. And if we want them as big as possible, we're gonna need the biggest of mana. Vernal Bloom doubles the production of forests. Now that's all forests, so be careful in your meta. Nissa Who Shakes the World doubles your own forests and could give you some advantage later on, especially dealing with plus one plus one counter synergies. Zendikar Resurgent is a staple, giving you extra mana and card draw when you cast your creatures. Regal Behemoth is amazing. This dinosaur is a 5-5 five, five for 6, trampling, draws you a card because you're the monarch, and by the way, you're gonna be able to keep the monarch because you have the biggest creatures with trample that, well, they just kind of rar your opponents, and it also gives you extra mana. Mana Reflection literally doubles your mana. Everyone thinks like, oh, an extra mana, it's like I'm doubling it. Mana Reflection truly doubles, and it's sneaky good. It's also sneaky expensive. It's gotten up there, so feel free to not include Mana Reflection or really any card that's outside of your budget. Hydra Tribal is designed to be cool, and uh, this deck tech that I've been throwing out here is about mm, under $200, and so you can easily cut that down to under $100 if you'd like. All right, we have plenty of mana sinks in our big hydras, but we might also want some onboard effects. Nylea, God of the Hunt, and Ronus the Indomitable can pump the hydras even bigger, and also grants trample, because some of these hydras don't actually have trample. And some more onboard effects from hydras, Hero's Bane can get very big. Notice, no trample on Hero's Bane. And then also Feral Hydra can get bigger, although the cost of uh, Feral Hydra, Three generic mana for a plus one, plus one counter? Wow. Hero's Bane, on the other hand, four mana to put as many counters on it where X is its power. Yeah, that's awesome. And giving these two trample could be really, really good. Another way that big mana synergizes in this deck is a card like Silvala, Hard the Wilds, generating mana based on how big your Hydras are, and then also letting you draw cards when you play bigger and bigger spells. And that transitions us into a little bit more synergy with Hydras and how big they can get. We can mess around with the power of them with these powerful spells. Traverse the Outlands. Take the power of your creature and search for that many basic lands. Let's get a lot of forests onto the battlefield so we can cast even bigger things. Rishkar's Expertise. You draw cards equal to the greatest power of creature you control. Hopefully that's a big old Hydra. And then you get to put something onto the battlefield, CMC five or less. Probably gonna be a Hydra that instantly dies. <laughs> Again, this is the cheating of mana cost effect that green is so good at and it just doesn't synergize. But Riskar's expertise, just the front end alone is really good. Uh, speaking of good, greater good. An enchantment that lets you change in your creatures for card draw. And there are a few other effects that deal with the power of creatures. Momentous Fall is kind of an instant speed greater good that has you, I don't know, it's just a one-off effect though. Greater good just gives you advantage creature after creature after creature. And then Hunter's Insight is another one-off effect that could just draw you a boatload of cards. The last sort of card draw effect that I really, really like in this deck is Uncage the Menagerie. I know, this got a little bit of hype when it was first spoiled, but commander players weren't that interested in it. Let's take a look. Uncage the Menagerie is X green green. I like that there's X here because we got some X synergies going on. Search your library for up to X creature cards with different names that each have converted mana cost X. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So if you do this for two, where X is two, you can search for two, two CMC creatures. And same thing for three. If you do this for three, then you can search for three, three CMC creatures. Now this seems incredibly fair, doesn't it? Except for your biggest, baddest creatures have a very low converted mana cost. The two most giant creatures you have, Primordial Hydra and Voracious Hydra, are both two CMC. That's a huge search effect for this deck. 
How about three CMC? We have Lifeblood Hydra, Mana Gorger Hydra, Ronus the Indomitable. We have ways to draw cards, deal tons of damage, and mana outlets for days. I uh, do have to admit there might be a top end on the power level of Uncaged Menagerie, because I don't know if this deck has five, five CMCs or six, six CMCs in order to truly take advantage of this card. And you might think I'm joking that I would pump so much mana into a silly search spell, but I am not. This deck can make all of the mana and it can be facilitated by a wonderful enchantment called Unbound Flourishing. Two and a green for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a permanent spell with a mana cost that contains X, double the value of X. What? That means every Hydra gets super big. Then also, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell or activate an ability, if that spell's mana cost or that ability's activation cost contains an X, copy that spell's ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. So that Hydra Broodmother? Oh my gosh, so gross. <laughs> We don't have every single green spell that goes crazy with Unbound Flourishing, even though I, I kind of I kind of want to. But this synergizes with enough of the deck that we can just have huge, huge Hydras and tons of value when it counts. All right, most of our creatures are going to enter the battlefield with plus one, plus one counters on them or have some sort of plus one, plus one counter synergy. And green is great at interacting with plus one, plus one counters, but you have to ask, how much are we needing to interact with this mechanic? Are we putting in doubling seasoned or hardened scales? I don't think so. I think that we need just enough to facilitate it, especially when it comes to the Hydra. Colonian Hydra is three green green for a zero zero trampler. It enters the battlefield with four plus one plus one counters. When it attacks, double the number of plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Oh man, this gets big. And I think Love that it's a Hydra, and so this feels like the right kind of interaction when it comes to plus one plus one counters. I might also include Solidarity of Heroes to do more plus one plus one counter doubling. Rishkar Pima Renegade, which can turn our plus one plus one countered creatures into mana dorks, and that facilitates more of the big mana strategy. And Inspiring Call. Draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it, but more importantly, those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. We're going to be putting a lot of big bigs on the battlefield, and we really want to protect them, and Inspiring Call is a really good budget way to do it. Don't get me wrong, Heroic Intervention is a great card, but it's also a $9 card, and again, you might be budget conscious when it comes to this deck. Finally, we can increase these synergies with Evolution Sage or Karn's Bastion. That way we can keep proliferating those plus one plus one counters. And we can use some mana rocks like Astral Cornucopia and Everflowing Chalice to try and add to this synergy as well. And, you know, as long as we're proliferating, we might as well proliferate a different type of counter. The last Hydra I have for you is Phyrexian Hydra. Three green green for a seven seven infecting Hydra. You gotta get some damage in through this Phyrexian Hydra and then start proliferating people and poisoning them out of nowhere. Infect damage for the win out of the Hydra deck that everyone is underestimating. That is what this deck is all about. Oh, you're playing with goofy Hydras? No, they're huge and they smash everyone and they have trample and I'm drawing more cards than the blue player. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this deck tech because I certainly enjoyed making it. I think that Gargos is very fun and I didn't even really talk very much about the targeted thing and the fighting stuff that feels like just value for me. Also this is an 8 powered creature for 6 CMC and with Vigilance it also just smashes people. This deck tech could keep going. I talk about all of the different ways that we can win with Gargos. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see the relatively budget version of the deck that I put together, go ahead and click on the link in the description, and that'll take you to tcgplayer.com. They sponsor the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. Thank you, tcgplayer.com. You should head on over there and buy your Hydra deck or a bunch of other great Commander cards. I also want to thank my patrons. Thank you very much, patrons. You support me so much, and I really appreciate everything that you do. 
If you're interested in supporting me as well, you can click on that thumbs up icon or subscribe, or you can even head on over and become a patron yourself at patreon.com slash jumbo commander. I'm really excited to see you for more content real soon. Bye-bye, everyone.